guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's you here. Finally, I'm back. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. I actually have resumed my uploading schedule a few weeks ago, but I did only did like four videos in Chinese, mainly because there are a lot of live updates, which probably concern my Chinese subscribers a lot. So I didn't, you know, find, you know, it's necessary to do it in both languages. But once it's upon our cosmetics, makeup, especially those relevant to both uh, worlds I'm just gonna resume my bilingual recording you know one video two language versions today I'm bringing you something really exciting it's from Lisa Eldridge oh my god it's that time of the year actually two times of the year for the summer launch she added new colors and also restocked the luxuriously loosened lip colors I believe there are seven new shades and most importantly, she, you know, restocked and also added new shades to the insanely saturated lip color line. Oh my god, I'm someone who missed the initial launch of the insanely saturated lip color. I think that's where everything started, no? So I'm so excited. I got all five shades from that line uh, currently existing. And this time I only picked out two shades from the luxuriously lucent. There's a reason to that but I will get into more details as we are trying on all of these new lippies without further ado, let's start! All right, let's first try out the only two shades from the Lucent colors. Uh, I picked out the lightest shade. Uh, this name is, let me figure this out, Le Mepri. I hope I pronounced that right. And also I pick out the darkest one, the Night Thoughts. It just so happens that these two are the first two to, so, uh, to be sold out in uh, this year's new colors. I had no idea. I just uh, went for my instinct and picked out these two shades. Anyways, you can see them in the tube. Also, let's first try on the lip, the pre. And before that, you can see my bare lip color. It's quite pink, nudish. So take that into account. And this color definitely shows on my lip, you know, just as my lip color. So I definitely treat this one as a lip balm, you know, just something for you to moisturize your lips when you don't have any makeup on or just that no makeup makeup kind of a day. And let me compare this to last year's Kid and Mischief and also the lightest pink shade in the Velvet line, which is a Velvet Intrigue on my arm. You can see that all these two shades are much more opaque than the, uh, this one, Le, Le, Le Mepri. And this is definitely my, you know, new lip balm. I don't expect to have it to show any color other than my natural lip color. So that's how my take on it. So there is uh, a good point where I can give you reasons why I just picked out like two shades from Lucent line. I feel like the coverage is really sheer to the point where if you have any different lip color than mine or you know if you have kind of a dry lip this kind of a coverage would bring up a lot of problems like the colors wouldn't show as much as on in the tube or as you saw from the models and also I find that it's just like the oils and also the color pigments in some of those shades for example last year's a dance card it's like a coral shade it's gonna separate a little bit and once you put it on if your lips are kind of dry it's just gonna show up pretty ugly not a very pretty picture there so that's why I'm like less enthusiastic about this lip lipstick line among all three of hers um, this is also the reason why I only picked two shades anyways there's that and let's move on to the next one night thoughts all right, my thoughts. Let's swipe on my lip. I am kind of surprised because I thought this one would have more of that black currant and also, you know, grape coloration in here, like a purple hue. However, showing on my lips, it's basically more like a uh, mahogany, um, you know, red brown kind of a color. Oh my god, what's happening? And I'm gonna swatch like the closest shades that I think picked out from Velvet and also last year's shade. Uh, right beside it's Velvet Midnight. Originally, I thought Midnight would be the closest one to this Night Thought, but now, like, you can barely see any purple in Night Thoughts when it compared to, you know, Velvet Midnight. Um, and also swatch the Velvet Decade 
And the last shade is Penterly, which is the darkest one from last year's Loose and Launch. And it's also kind of lighter than I thought. Anyways, Night Thought is basically just a, you know, red brownish kind of a shade on my lips. Maybe because my lip is like pinkish, that uh, fact factors into how this color eventually showed up on me. Maybe some of you guys would have that purple hue show up. I'm kind of disappointed. I was looking forward to that blood current kind of a, you know, effect, but okay, I guess. Oh my god, this is a uh, rainbow spill, the one of the oldest shades from insanely saturated lip color. This is such an interesting shade. Like I feel like Lisa loves to play with all these neon shades, but for some reason she always manages to make these neon shades tone towards a way that everybody can wear them without feeling too much, without feeling like your life is being drained out of this lip color. Like I feel like I can wear this color in life, you know? Although it's definitely something, you know, bolder, more adventuristic. It's still like, I can do it, right? I'm kind of stunned. And let's let's try out the other Oche skyscraper rose together. This is skyscraper rose. Oh my goodness. Like how is it such like a pink that's not too blue toned, not too warm. It's just in the very middle of it. But do you see like how bright this is? I think this is basically because of like the um, saturation or opacity of this color that's intended. If you can see on my arm, I swatched the um, comparisons. From the left to right, we have Rainbow Spill. Of course, that's like not even close here. Rainbow Spill is like a coral, a watermelon kind of a red. Although it does have that neon in it, but it, it doesn't compare to the rest of the three shades here. These are like all the pinks, neutral pinks. We have Velvet Carnival, Love of My Life, and also Skyscraper Rose. So you can see Carnival definitely has more of a blue based kind of a base in it. And Love of My Life, of course, it's sheer. But this Skyscraper Rose, it doesn't have that too much of a blue. But it's so bright, it's so bright that you want to wear it, it's wearable, it, it, it definitely does something to your face. And I feel beautiful in this shade. I don't feel too bold or, you know, just too whatsoever. Like this pink, as bright as it is, as, it is, as saturated as it is, I'm just so in love. Like, okay. Let's move on to the three new shades of the insanely saturated lip colors. Look at this strawberry shock shade. Uh, oh my god, up to here, I think I finally get, get it. Like the actual meaning of the words, insanely saturated. Each single shade from this line is so saturated so opaque, so full of color and bright brightness and vibrancy, it's just gonna instantly, you know, make your face feel so much brighter, uh, you know, your complexion looks so... I don't know how to say this, but it's just make you feel so much, you know, healthier, I guess, like glowing, you know what I'm saying? Especially this kind of highly saturated lip colors. I mean, I finally get the meaning of it. Like, I, I get it, I get it, Lisa. Good job. I get it. Look at this vibrant color. Like, oh my god. Like, although it's really vibrant, it doesn't really scare me off or anything like that. It still looks good on me, right? Oh my god. All right, so this is Sunday Martinet, and this is so very close to the uh, new shade from True Velvet last year, uh, called Velvet Petal. 
because I've been using velvet petals so much, I, I immediately recognize like the shade is so similar. And you can see on my arm, this is comparison swatch. If you have to pick out like the slight, slightly tiny, tiny difference between them, I would say um, Sunday Martinet, uh, of course, it's the insanely saturated, so it's, of course it's like brighter. It does have slightly higher brightness, but it's like not visible to your human eye. So definitely these two are just very similar, and not to mention the texture is like, like uh, I can see, uh, I can say, insanely saturated is like half thickness of, not half, like 80% thickness of the velvet. So. You know, I feel like this is like a repeat for me, but I do love velvet petals so much that I don't mind have one more. So yeah. All right, the last one, new way. Look at the shade. Look at this purpleness. Oh my god, even Carnival swatched right beside it would, wouldn't even show this much of like a cool tone or black, uh, blue uh, kind of a undertone in it and this is such a bold color again, it's just that spirit of the insanely saturated uh, lip line it's just so very highly opaque, highly saturated and you know pure color and that brightness is just like an influx into your mouth and this is so lively no matter what kind of shade it is like although this is more of like a cool tone shade because of how bright and how saturated this is it still will light up your entire complexion make you feel so healthy glowing Oh my god, I, I have no words. Like this 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 line lipsticks, it's just another world. It's not it's not a repeat from Velvet, although the shade Sunday Martin is kind of similar to Petal, but I get the whole spirit of this entire line. It's just on its own, has its own regard and beauty and you know just meaning meaning in it. So yeah, that's every uh, single of the seven new lipsticks that I picked out from this new launch. We have tried them all. What do you guys think? Do you have any favorite or you have some meh kind of ones? For me personally, I would still say it's very safe and very wise for me not to pick out too many new ones of the Lucent line because it's just personally not my preference. I don't need that much of a balmy kind of a lipsticks. I love these highly opaque ones and into this insanely saturated. I should have chosen between Rainbow Spill, Skyscraper Rose and also Strawberry Shake, a sh Shock because all of these three are very warm, vibrant. Um, I feel like, you know, you can have one of them, not, not everything, single one of them. It's just too much. But for me, Neo Wave is like must because it's just to my taste, to my skin, and I love like the quarterness in this. And um, yeah, Sunday Martin, it's of course, it's like a repeat shade, but I don't mind because I love petal so much. That's for me. Uh, let me know what you think. And that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.